there's there's this dynamic that happens when you're getting a WooCommerce store set up, uh, when you're launching it, when you're getting ready for a big weekend like this weekend. There's this dynamic where you go, okay, I hope that everything is working. And for as much as we want hope to be an effective strategy, we know it's not. But what can you do? How do you manage to constantly evaluate and make sure that your store is doing okay without disrupting things? And and by the way, right, you have to create a new kind of product, uh, a separate product that doesn't show up in your catalog so that someone can run a test to make sure that you can put it in the cart or that it displays in checkout or that you can buy it. You have to you have to navigate and create fictitional orders, but not let those orders go all the way through or at least uh, pull them out so that they don't mess with your reporting. I mean, there's a lot to do. And so what do we do? We do none of it. We do none of it. We run a couple little things before we launch. And then once we launch, it's hands together. We're praying and we're hoping that it works out until now because we've spent a whole year building automated acceptance tests for WooCommerce. And what that means is that whether we're talking about, hey, can I, first of all, does the product page even show up? Does the product catalog show up? If the product catalog shows up, can I navigate to a product page? If the product page shows up, does the product show up? Does the images show up? Does the uh, variations or options show up? Can I add it to my cart? When I put it in my cart, can I move to checkout? Can I check it out as a guest? Can I check it out as a named user? Uh, Can I actually pay and test out the the entire cart experience? All of those are tests. And what you really want is to run those through in an automated fashion, preferably late at night when no one else is doing it. And that's what we've done. We've built automated WooCommerce acceptance tests so that you don't have to worry about it, so that you can just see, oh, there's a problem. Today I was testing it, and uh, you know, I was testing on a brand new WooCommerce site. I didn't have Stripe activated. I didn't have any payment gateway activated. So guess what? Whoop! It shows me two little notions that tell me little notices that tell me, hey, uh, this this part didn't pass, right? And you go, oh, I know exactly what that is. You go in, you configure Stripe. Tomorrow when it runs, it'll show it all as green and like, hey, you passed the test. If you want this kind of automated acceptance test. The only challenge other than building it yourself is that you got to come over to Nexus because that's where we've launched it. That's where we've deployed it. So if you want amazing, high-performance WooCommerce hosting, you likely already know the name Nexus. But if you want to add to it, right, this notion of automated acceptance tests, come check it out. I think you're going to dig it.